Hello and welcome back to District 6200's Grant Management Seminar. Again, my name is Frank Bradshaw and I am the Rotary Foundation Committee Chair for District 6200. This is module number two and it covers global grants and it is the second of three videos in the Grant Management Seminar program. Here is how the seminar will proceed. First, you will watch the video as you are doing here. There are three videos in all. After you watch a video, take the review quiz. You will need to use SurveyMonkey to take the quiz, and the link to SurveyMonkey can be found in the district's website. After you've completed all three quizzes, email me at the address shown on the screen. Simply give me your name, the name of your club, and your club position for the coming Rotary year. This way, I will be able to give your club the proper credit for the training. Let's cover a few of the significant points concerning global grants. As noted in the first video of the series, global grants are unique in that they are designed to fund large, long-term rotary projects with minimum budgets of $30,000 US or more. And the projects need to have sustainable and measurable outcomes. The projects must align with one or more of Rotary's six areas of focus. The projects must have an international partnership involving Rotary clubs from at least two Rotary districts. And the Rotary Foundation will match with funds from the World Fund. As we discussed earlier, Rotary has identified specific causes to target in order to maximize our local and global impact. Those areas are peace and conflict resolution, disease prevention and treatment, water and sanitation, maternal and child health, basic education and literacy, economic and community development, and now a new area of focus, supporting the environment. Rotary defines sustainability as giving a community the skills and knowledge needed to maintain project outcomes for the long term, even after grant funds have been expended. To be sustainable, a project must meet a need that is consistent with the values and culture of the community. Equipment and technology for the project should be purchased from local sources whenever possible. Spare parts for the equipment should be available within the community. Community members should be involved in the selection of equipment and should be trained to maintain and repair, and a local funding source should be secured to cover long-term operation, maintenance, and repair. The project should strengthen beneficiaries' knowledge and skill through education and training, and project partners should collaborate with local organizations to supply expertise. Project partners should identify individuals within the community impacted by the project who will be willing to assume leadership roles for sustaining project outcomes. Also clear and measurable project objectives should be developed and a method for collecting data established. Figures will ideally demonstrate change for at least three years. Let's talk about applying for and implementing a global grant. You should begin every application by first completing, as much as possible, the global grant application template. Global grant applications are submitted online. The global grant application template is accessible by going to www.rotary.org backslash grants. Applications are accepted on a rolling basis throughout the year. There are no application deadlines. However, if, you, if your application includes travel, please ensure that it is submitted at least 90 days before the travel is scheduled to begin. Let's briefly talk about planning for success with your project. There are six aspects to successful grant projects. They are, the projects meet community needs. They are sustainable. Their results are measurable. The project has an international partner. The planning process includes an implementation plan. And all partners maintain proper stewardship of the funds.
The community assessment report is the starting point for a successful global grant. The most important point to remember is that you must base the project on the community's needs. You will have to determine your club's resources as well as the potential partners club's resources. You have to talk to the community affected by the project. Here are two excellent tools that you can avail yourself to that will assist you and your partners in assessing the needs that may exist on, in the target community. Here is a list of places where you can find potential partners to work with when considering a global grant project. They include Rotary Events, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Rotary.org. When creating a budget for your project, remember that it needs to be realistic based on competitive bidding and reasonable prices for the community and you disclose any conflicts of interest that might exist. A conflict of interest exists when a Rotarian may benefit financially or personally from grant activities. The benefit can either be direct or indirect. Financial benefits could include receiving grant funds for being a project manager or receiving grant funds as a vendor for the project. Personal benefits could include receiving a promotion, getting business referrals, or gaining publicity or improved social standing. Associates can include family members, friends, other Rotarians, personal acquaintances, colleagues, and business partners. Rotarians have a reputation for professional integrity. Addressing and preventing conflicts of interest helps preserve this reputation for the club, the district, and the Rotary Foundation. When Rotarians freely disclose any direct or indirect association with a grant project, they help to ensure a fair process and transparency in the use of funds. Rotarians must disclose any conflict of interest on a grant application. If Rotarians aren't sure whether a situation is a conflict of interest, they should talk with their grant officers. An actual or perceived conflict of interest does not necessarily disqualify a Rotarian from participating in a Rotary grant. Eligibility for, for participation will be determined by case by case. As to global grant financing, the minimum total budget for a global grant is $30,000 US. With only a couple of exceptions, the grant must also include an ask for at least $15,000 US in matching funds from the Rotary Foundation. Clubs and districts can contribute to a global grant by using district designated funds, which are matched 80% by the Foundation's World Fund. Please note that cash contributions, such as outright gifts from Rotarians or funds from Rotary led fundraisers are no longer matched by the Foundation. Additionally, non-Rotarian cash contributions, that is donations from other organizations, business or individuals, are also no longer being matched by the foundation. There are a few financial guidelines imposed by the foundation. First, international sponsors of humanitarian projects are required to provide at least 30% of the total sponsor funding. The host sponsor is not required to provide any funding, but local funding may be part of the grant. Second, Rotarians cannot collect funds from beneficiaries or cooperative organizations in exchange for receiving the grant. Third, contributions cannot come from other Rotary grant projects. And finally, cash contributions should always be credited to the individual who gave the funds. Rotarians cannot collect funds from individuals and claim the donation as their own unless they have received explicit permission from the donors to do so. Communication is critical to a successful implementation. For example, you should communicate regularly with partners and community members about the progress of the grant, or scholars about the progress of their studies, or both partner clubs and districts to report how funds are being spent. The club must implement a financial management plan for grant funds, including a separate bank account, a plan to transfer the custody of the account if necessary, a method for the distribution of funds, and ways to satisfy any requirements related to local laws. 
Detailed grant records help with reporting on the use of grant funds, responding to inquiries, and increasing the transparency of how grant funds are managed. Remember, for global grants, you must follow the Rotary approved grant plan. Any changes to the scope or budget of your project requires Rotary's approval. Conducting an evaluation of the project will assist clubs with their reporting requirements. Conducting an evaluation also helps the club determine the success of a project and identify ways of improving for the future since lessons learned help to replicate successes and adjust for challenges in the next project. Remember to use goals set during the planning stage to evaluate the success of a project or an activity. The data and evaluation method and frequency should be set up during the planning stage as well. Project evaluation is an ongoing process and it happens during implementation through completion and beyond. It goes without saying, promoting project and activity successes both with your club and with the public gets others involved and interested in participating in Rotary and it is a great way to let donors know how their funds were spent. A few words about oversight and reporting. Clubs must follow standard business practices for managing these funds. It is important to review financial records to confirm the proper use of funds. Good stewardship is achieved by putting systems in place that create club-wide awareness of, for the use of funds. Widespread knowledge helps prevent mismanagement. Any irregularities or misuse of grant funds should be reported immediately. Submit timely, complete, and accurate reports to demonstrate good stewardship of funds to Rotary and to all grant partners. A club's level of oversight, transparency, and accountability in managing Rotary grant funds affects the donor's confidence in giving to the Rotary Foundation and working with that club for future projects. Your club should have a club-controlled bank account used only for global grant funds. A separate account should be open for each global grant received. This will assist you in keeping accurate financial records. Once your club receives grant funds, it is important to have a plan for distributing and tracking funds. For example, if you are sponsoring a scholar, the plan should specify when and how your club will distribute the funds to the scholar. Expenditure should be made using a trackable method such as a check or bank card, and you should keep track of transaction details. Laws in some countries and regions may be more stringent than rotary requirements. Know your local laws and follow them. When local laws are less stringent than rotary requirements, be sure to adhere to rotary requirements. All documents should be accessible to everyone in the club. It may be that your club chooses to keep documents in a binder or a filing system or scan documents and save them electronically to a shared network. Documents must be retained for a minimum of five years or longer if local law requires it. Reporting is a key component of proper stewardship and grant management. If a club has already completed an evaluation of the project and maintained records in accordance with the club's memorandum of understanding, completing Rotary's reporting requirements is simple. Reporting verifies that grants were managed properly and implemented in accordance with Rotary grant policies. It also provides an opportunity for communication between partners, building the trust necessary to continue the partnership in support of future projects. Reporting also allows project partners and the foundation to celebrate successes and learn from challenges. It encourages future giving because donors are confident that their funds have been used as intended. It provides valuable evaluation data that the foundation uses to improve its granting process. It allows Rotary to demonstrate to current and future donors its effectiveness and the impact of its grants. It allows project outcomes of each area of the focus to be collected and marketed to Rotary's audiences. Progress reports must be submitted within 12 months of receiving the first global grant payment and every 12 months thereafter. The final report must be submitted within two months of completing the project or the activity. 
unused grant funds may be used for additional eligible and foundation approved expenses. Changes to a project must be approved by Rotary. Any unused funds returned to Rotary will be credited to the World Fund. Please remember that your global grant report should always note the partners who were involved, the type of activities conducted, an evaluation of product goals, note how the areas of focus were met, how funds were spent, and the number of beneficiaries and how they and their community benefit from the project. As we talked about at the end of the first video, here are some resources to help you through the grant process. This is the end of the second video. You may now complete the module number two review quiz or proceed to the third video. Thank you.